Hi, everybody. I'm going to give it about 30 seconds to a minute here to kind of let everybody get onto this live video. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to start explaining. I know we'll have some people kind of joining on here in a second. My name is Kayla. This is Cardio Core today. Um, this is going to be a little bit quicker of a workout today. So it's three five-minute AMRAPs. We'll kind of explain what that is in a minute. Um, most importantly, we want to make sure that you're set up. You don't need really any equipment for this. Uh, optional to have a mat. I'm just going to be doing it on my carpet here. Uh, but if you'd like to have a mat, make sure to grab that out, as well as a towel or a pillow. Um, if you have any low back discomfort, uh, we're going to do sit-ups later on today. So I've got myself an ab mat. Most of you guys probably don't have this at home, um, but as you can see, you could just do a rolled up mat or a pillow or something to put under your low back is perfectly fine. So minimal equipment, uh, make sure you have some water near you as it is cardio course. So we are going to get a little sweaty today. Uh, this workout is perfect for all levels because you're going to be able to modify and rest as needed. Uh, AMRAP is as many rounds as possible. Meaning that if you need a rest in between that five minutes, you can take it and then resume when you're ready. So awesome. We've got quite a few people joining on here. Welcome, guys. This is going to be a quick workout today, which is going to be awesome. Again, make sure you've got some space near you. We're going to start off with a warm-up. So again, workouts in the descriptions, what you need, minimal equipment today. I want you to sit up nice and tall. I want you to turn off anything you're thinking about right now. No work or anything, just on our warm-up. I want us to start with 10 backward shoulder circles. I want to make sure our back feels nice and our neck before we get started. Now I've left my door open so you guys might see my cat come in and out a little bit. I think he's coming over now. Good, take it forward. There's his tail. <laughs> Good. Once you've got that done, 10 forward, 10 back, we're gonna do a gentle twist to our side. Make sure not to force anything. Good, we're gonna switch it over other side. Do that one more time, so taking it over. And back to the other side. Good, relax. Let's go ahead and bring it on to all fours here. So knees underneath those hips, hands underneath those shoulders. If you guys did Tabata with me yesterday, you probably did some of these with me. Let's do some cat cows, really making sure to engage that core, open up that back. Now, I've got my own music on today, so please feel free to have your own music on as well. It's going to be a tough one, depending on how you feel today. So find music that's going to motivate you. I've just got some fun cardio mix on. Good. Last one here. All right, when you're ready, I want you to get that core nice and tight. We're going to do bird dogs. We're going to do 10 total, and we're going to alternate each side. So I want you to lift your right arm up with left leg. Get that glute squeeze. Then we're going to set it down. We're going to switch sides. So just extending that arm, squeezing that glute and that core. 10 total, five on each side. Good. When you've done your 10 warm-up, uh, oh my gosh, bird dogs today, we're going to do 10 with a core crunch. So now I want you to open, and then you're going to close that knee back in, and then switch sides. You can open all the way back up if you want, if you can today. Getting our core warmed up here. Good, we're almost there, guys. Keep it going. Last one here. Good, bring it down to your stomachs. We're gonna go over a Superman that's gonna be part of our first workout today. So let's do 10 Supermans to warm up. It's up to you if you wanna lift your back legs off the floor. You can just lift your top half if you want. But what I want you to do is squeeze those glutes, lift your upper lower body off the floor if you can. Just a little pause here. And last but not least, once you finish, go ahead and roll up for a cobra here. You guys can see my cat is going to be joining us today. 
and take it back for a child's pose. All right, guys, let's get started. So I see a few of you guys have joined, which is awesome to see so many of you guys on here. Let's get ready to go. Again, these are five-minute AM wraps, as many rounds as possible, meaning that you can push yourself here. If you feel good today, um, if you're sore, tight, or anything like that, or have any injuries, please just modify. If there's an exercise you can't do, switch it for something that you can do, because you still can do that workout with us. So our first AM wrap, as you guys can see on there, consists of three exercises. Let's practice, and then get started. So we're gonna be on our stomachs, just like we did for that warm up. A Superman plank burpee is three parts. I call them SPPs for short. So you're gonna be on the ground. It's Superman. Then hands come underneath our shoulders. You can either lift up onto your knees or your toes. Plank, and then a half burpee. So you're gonna jump your legs in, jump your legs out, back down. So it looks like Superman, plank, half burpee, and you lower yourself to the ground. If you don't want to jump in, you can always step in, step out, lower to the ground. You can even take part out to just the Superman, the plank, and right back down. So cut it to what you need. Then we're switching over. We have a reverse crunch with a leg raise. Hands are going underneath that bottom. Rest your head if you can. We're going to lower those legs. And when we lift them up, hips come up. That's our reverse crunch. You're only lowering those legs. As low as you can with your low back still pressing the floor. If you feel like you're arching, we want to stop higher. If you can't do either or, you can do just the reverse crunch or just the leg raise. Last but not least, you have 10 penguin crunches. These are total, so five on each side. Nice and slow. Squeezing those obliques, tapping those heels. If you're a go-getter today and you want to do double count, so one, one, two, two, all the way up to 10, Go for it, okay? So I've got a timer set, five minutes. Make sure you've got space on the floor. You'll see me taking a little rest when I need it and I want you to do the same, okay? So let's get ready, guys. Make sure your music's going. We have 10 seconds here. So Superman played burpees are first. Turn my music a little bit. I am motivated. Three, two, one, here we go. Five Superman played burpees. Gotta complete the whole thing for a rep. And if you're gonna go to a nice smooth pace, you can just see up later as we get going. I'm on my last one here. Woo! I am flipping it over. I've got five leg raises with a hip crunch. Really pushing those feet up in the air. Woo. And then 10 penguins. Good. Keep it going, guys. Almost 
Halfway there. One minute, 20 seconds, guys. Come on. outside all right so that was amrap one if you're like i want to get up i want to get moving this next one is where you'll need that towel um if you have any low back issues with sit-ups so we're going to start off with skaters let me adjust this so you guys can see me a little bit better so skaters who can't see my head here but i'll show you in a second so a couple options on skaters you can keep it nice and low impact with just a tap with that foot keep that core strong chest up and you can go nice and quick if you're feeling good you're going to jump and hover that back foot or jump and tap your choice but we're going to start with these what i think i've got 20 on here 20 uh skaters yeah 20 skaters and then 10 sit-ups so i've got my ab mat if you don't want to use anything you don't have to but i'm going to place this under my low back you can choose here guys Butterfly sit up, so feet together if you'd like, or you can have those heels apart and you slightly bent. But I'm gonna have those sit ups reaching up nice and tall, exhaling as I crunch. And you can tap the floor, or if you prefer, if you can't go all the way up, you can just reach to the ceiling. But give me some nice, strong sit ups, really engaging your abdominal muscles here, okay? So we've got 10 sit ups, 20 skaters. This one is only two exercises, so it's gonna feel a little bit different, okay? If you're joining in, this is perfect time. We're gonna start our second AMRAP. So, skaters, sit-ups, get ready, guys. Let's see how many rounds we can bust through of this. Get that music up. 10 seconds here. If you guys can see me. We'll try that. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. 20 skaters. Let's go. I don't have to change 
the floor of an apartment. So I'm keeping it nice and light. Remember, you can always move quick and tap that foot back. So let's get some steps today. All right, I've done my 20. I'm gonna come down to the floor. I've got my sit up. My mat's behind my back. I'm gonna exhale, do a butterfly sit up for the first time. 10 sit up. If you need to, at any point, you can cut those reps in half. You can always do 10 standards and five sit ups. Good, I'm back. Back to my skaters. 20 total. Remember, tag those out. Oh, 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 oh,
I'm gonna get one in the next round while you guys rest. I might grab a drink though. <laughs> Get a little hot in here. All right, guys. Nicely done. Two AM reps in. We're under a third AM rep. I did this kind of workout today, so if you want to do this later in the week, you can always increase or decrease that time of that AM rep. This is effective a little cardio core workout. So we're going to hit some obliques next. <laughs> this next one's challenging. We're going back to three exercises. And I'm trusting you on the last exercise. It's time, you're gonna be counting 10 seconds. I'm trusting you to actually count those 10 seconds, okay? So, first one, 10 side V-ups. Let's make sure you guys see me, okay? All right, so on these side V-ups, I have options for you. <laughs> so if you're feeling tired here, or this isn't your best exercise, we're gonna be on this side, hips tilted back, knees slightly bent. Option one, you're just gonna push that elbow toward your knee. So I'm still crunching my side. You can choose to keep your side, uh, your left side on the floor the whole time, or you can actually push off your forearm and bring it up into that via. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, we're straightening that leg, reaching that hand up toward that toe. Or some of you guys already know, you can go more advanced, pushing off that forearm, bringing both legs up for that via. So you're gonna have 10 on your right side, 10 on your left side, then, this is where it gets fun, we've got a boat pose, heel taps, 10 total. So on the boat pose, guys, shoulders are pulled back, core is tight, hands are gonna be behind us, so we're gonna start that boat pose. Now from here, I want you to lock in that core, you're gonna gently drop one heel down to the floor, and back up. I want these slow. So 10 total, five on each leg, but that's not it. After those 10, doesn't seem like a lot, you're going slower. You're gonna drop it down the floor for a 10 second hollow hold. On the hollow hold, you're gonna have legs up, arms up, neck is neutral, your core is gonna be shaky here, and you're gonna hold for 10 seconds. If you need to hold higher, because you're not at this level yet, that's fine, but lower those legs down if you feel comfortable, and hold for those shaky abs, then you're gonna keep it going, okay? So, part around here, I would say, this is our last arm wrap though, so make sure it's worth it. All right, I wish I could tell you, are you guys ready and actually hear you here, but maybe you're in your home and you said you're ready. So again, put your music on. Let's get ready. I'll give you guys a 10 second buffer. Whew. I think the hardest one for me is gonna be that hollow hold. All right, 10 seconds. Oh, this is a good song. All right, so we're gonna start off with the side piece. All right, let's go, so modified version. Crunching that elbow toward your knee. A little bit harder. Reaching up toward that foot. And even harder is both feet up. Lost my count here, but it is nine and ten. Then you're going to flip it over. Other side. Other side. Other side. Other side. Other then again, go pose. <laughs> Pull those shoulders back, legs up. We're gonna drop one heels down. <laughs> Relax your neck. Ten total. Second hollow hold. Count it out, guys. Let's go. Oh, all right, so now you guys know the drill. Let's keep it going. Back to our sides when you're ready. Give me that oblique crunch. That side view. I'm going to do one leg on this one. Woo. Make sure to switch sides. Thank <laughs> you. 
Everybody can always cut reps down or swap out an exercise. Or should be shaking here. Lower those legs as much as you feel comfortable. All right. Halfway, guys. Halfway. Come on. Come on there. Hopefully you feel your obliques kind of kicking in now. Squeeze those abs. Y'all ready for this? Come on. Watch that breathing. Exhale as we crunch. I know these heel taps are a little harder than maybe you thought. Keep it going though, nice and slow. hand down on that knee, adding to that stretch. Let's switch to some relaxing music here. Whew. Good, when you're ready, bring it back up and over to the other side now. Right hands on that knee, looking at our left hand. Good. Let's bring those heels back underneath those knees, hands flat. Let's go ahead and lift those hips up. Stretch out those hip flexors and hold a glute bridge here. Got a few seconds left of class. Good. When you're ready, let's bring it up back to that seated position we started class with. I'm nice and tall. Let's go ahead and do a neck stretch. Take that right ear down toward your right shoulder. You guys probably notice I'm doing a lot of neck stretches in my classes, but it's super important right now. I'm sure you guys have felt tighter than normal. Good. Keep breathing. Look past that right shoulder toward the floor. 
Good. Other side, left ear down toward left shoulder. And look past that left shoulder down toward the floor. Good. Take those hands behind you on the floor. If you can, grab them together. We're going to pull those shoulders back. Open up through that chest. Good. And last one. Let's go ahead and do a butterfly stretch here. So take those heels in toward your body. Grab those feet. Really push down on those elbows if you feel comfortable here. If you can, you can get your uh, back closer to your feet here. I'm not super flexible there, so this is all as I have. And slowly relax. Thank you guys so much for taking Cardio Core with me today. Workout is posted uh, in the description, so if you want to do this on your own later or repeat it, uh, if you're feeling good right now and you want to do more of a workout, go for it. Uh, and again, guys, keep moving this week. I know it's going to be raining, but you guys have this. Again, we've got e-coaching going on. We'll have some challenges, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks, guys. If you'll comment, also letting me know you did the class. Thank you.